grab your popcorn, kick back and relax, because it's time for some more carnage. So, at the time I upload this, I've just recorded an attack for... What was it? Quay? Yeah, Quay. Unboosted bottleneck solo. So, right now I'm going to cover the other two bases... Quantum and Strange Attractions. So these two attacks were done by a friend of mine named Tika. One of them was his account here. The other one was my second account, which I, I let him use for the attack. Uh, so yeah, we'll show these two attacks. And just before we jump into it, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who commented on my video that said my final video. Uh, I literally recorded that, I think, an hour after the accident. We'll start off with my second account, her strange attractors. So this, this base is actually pretty easy, so you don't need to drop a flare on the beach. Oh, he lost his hero, did he? I think he lost his hero? I don't even know. Yeah, he mu No, he didn't. Okay. So... You don't have to drop a flare on the beach there, just the smoke and the deployment flags are really enough to control where they're going. Uh, you can see he's spacing his, sm his smokes out really well. I really like that about Tika. His smoke placement is amazing. Timing his second flare so his troops don't stop and then lose their gripping. That's another sign of a really good AZ player. So, dropping the shock on the three splash damage buildings. Whoops. You can see the laser beam is out of range here. So is the shock launcher, and there's no rockets. So, right now you can see that there's a machine gun that was starting to fire. He lost some Zookas because of that, and he will continue to lose them because it, machine guns shoot past their range. So, by placing them there, he knows he's going to be out of range, or at least the vast majority of his group. Uh, there's some one-shot buildings that have just range on where he is. Why isn't the sniper tower activating? There we go. And... The grapplers would have had a little bit of range on him if they had had some over here. But that wouldn't have made the biggest difference, to be honest. Yeah, so... A heap of his Greek Zookas are safe there. Um... And it's basically GG from there. So speed it up, and boom, there we go. So that was the first base, and the angry family signature there with the med kit on the HQ. Always nice to see that. Because uh, if you didn't know, Tika is actually from the angry family. That was the stats, by the way, in case you guys didn't get to see that. Uh, so this is the stats. So again, all, still unboosted. So, this base, I was really impressed with this, and I was actually kind of scared. This is only a level 20 mine, so he knew that by taking the path he's going to get to up there, he's going to run into that one mine, and that's going to explode, and cause him a bit of grief. So he's let some Zookas farm some cells, so we'll just four times that. This will allow him to get another shock down, I do believe. And he did lose some Zookas there, but worth it if he gets the extra shock. And you can see he did take the damage from that one mine, but level 21 mines will instantly kill your troops if you don't have troop health. If you do, you'll survive with the same amount of health, but a level 20 mine, you will also be able to survive that. So one shock, two shocks, three shocks, that's all he needed. Battle orders, which will allow him to do more damage in the allotted amount of time. Uh, and boom, there we go. Didn't even need that last batch of critters, but it is what it is. Might have bought the defenses like half a second before they started shooting at him, which maybe got him off an extra shot, or guaranteed that last shot, more, more like. Uh, so yeah. That's the two bases, Quantum and Strange Attractions. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next one.